We have spoken about Allah's name, al muhyi and we said it means in sure that he is the one that gives life. Now, al hay means the one who has life, the ever-living. He is the source of all life. But there is a difference when Allah is called al hay and when a person is called Hay, someone that has life. At one stage, people did not have life. Then life had a beginning and then life will end. Allah always has life and his life is continuous. It never had a beginning and never has an end. He gives life to people and takes it away as he wishes. We depend on a body. We depend on food and sustenance to continue life. Otherwise, we will die. Allah al Hay does not need any sustenance. He does not have a body and nor is he in need of one. He lives without any help or nutrition. He gives life to nutrition so that we may be sustained and rely on the ever-living who never dies. There are also different degrees of life. For example, a plant has a higher degree of life than a rock. Plants grow and change and respond to their surroundings unlike rocks. Life of an animal is a higher degree than that of a plant. Animals can hear, see and move and dominate over plant life. Human life is said to be the highest form of life from Allah's creation. Humans have been blessed with an intellect to use reasoning and free will. But humans also differ in how alive they are and have different degrees. This is based on their knowledge and their actions towards that knowledge. The lowest degree of life of a human will be the one that does not have awareness of knowledge of his own self and blindly follows his desires. He is not aware of the aim of his existence. It is as if he is dead even though he is alive. The one that has a higher degree is the one that has knowledge and uses it to better himself and suppress his wrongful desires. He uses his intellect to recognize his aim in life to get closer to Allah. This person is someone that is truly alive. How should we live by this name? 1. The Holy Quran says, And rely upon the ever-living who never dies. Everything in the world will perish. You, me, your money, your status, everything. So how can you rely on anything that one day will perish? Rely on the one that never dies, al Hay and put your trust in him for every outcome in your life. 2. The first thing the heart needs to be alive is to know about Allah. Without recognizing Allah and your purpose in life and only to follow your desires, this heart is considered dead. So, the first thing to make your heart alive is knowledge. Knowledge about Allah, about Allah's names and attributes, his orders and commands. Now when you put this knowledge into practice, you could possibly say your heart is alive.